So next up in our tool chain is our built-in configuration tool. It's called CMake, and uh, this is a uh, free tool available made by a company called Kidware. Um, and let's go ahead and do this. Uh, and um, this is uh, your CMake.org. So this is. Uh, the homepage of CMake. Uh, Kidware is a commercial company that does uh, mostly medical device visualizations. If you've ever looked at a CT or CAT scan, you've looked at uh, Kidware's website, and this is their community project. They needed a cross-platform build tool, and so they wrote one. Uh, so you can go to download here and uh, download the uh, latest release for macOS, which is right here. And once this has been downloaded, we have the installer that we can run. And so this is one of those drag and drop installers. So it's as easy as taking the CMake executable and put it into the applications folder, and that was the installation. When this is done, we can unmount the disk image and actually also clean up our downloads. And uh, now we have uh, CMake in our applications folder, so let's go to um, the uh, finder in here in applications we should find CMake. As always, uh, macOS is relatively paranoid about this, so uh, uh, it asks us uh, in a security question whether we want to uh, really run this piece of software that we've downloaded from the internet, and uh, we say yes, okay. And that's, uh, that's that, so CMake is uh, already there. We see directly the uh, graphical user interface uh, coming up. And uh, once we actually have a project to uh, configure, we will um, load a project in here and uh, um, actually work with this later on. But for now, we have uh, CMake installed. It's a very quick process here. And uh, so uh, we are ready uh, with this part of the toolchain.